We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, two NFC clubs going head-to-head -head as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's Cairo Santos now, ready to get this one started. Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? Back again with another video. All right, I got two games for you guys today. Yeah, against uh, Eagles. Not really gonna do too much of like strategy breakdown. Just, uh, I think this guy right here, he started off playing a lot of zone in his usual. He, I think he went back. He just started blitzing the crap out of me. So I'll just kind of just show how I'm getting around it. So it's like it's on offense and on on his offense, he ran a lot of uh, these double drags from the center, uh, tight end over the middle. And a lot of trips. Eagles just have some good fast wide receivers, so it's over routes and stuff. So this is his first drive. I'm just trying to see what he runs, see what he likes to do, and then uh, try to just try my best to adjust. Yeah, as the game progresses. So first drive, he's in the red zone, and he's able to score a touchdown. So I get the ball back here. Let's see what I can do. Play action. Had him here on the cover three. So as you can see. Or oh, cover nine. I think it's his best start switching the man defense, I think. Yeah, he's going to start switching the man. And the man blitz. And he just got to figure out how to come around, you know, get around it. Check down the running back. There's not really gonna be a lot of slowdowns. I'm just gonna it's just man blitz. I just gotta I just select routes that run away from the defenders and try to get the ball off my hands as fast as I can before the blitz gets to me. And of course, you know, under pressure fields does what he should he does. Overthrow. I can't even really get to my third or fourth read. I just gotta just take what I can take before the, you know the blitz gets there. It's just a wheel route deep up field. I just snuck it in, so I kind of got lucky there. So, tie the game up. Oh, come on, man. Safety. Eventually, I think I did get one of them. I just get one of those back. It's just, man, I should have been a pick, though. You don't have that uh, option in NCAA right now where they say you can, like, I think use the right stick to switch players. You kind of, like, do that in FIFA in a way. Like, like switch amongst players, even when the ball's in the air. Shit, that feature was in his game. I could have switched to the safety and come down on that. I'm just wondering, like, what new from NCAA they're gonna add into Madden? Like this year, because they got a lot of cool stuff in there. I just want, there goes there. Safety finally gets over. That's what he should have done the first time. He wouldn't have the confidence to throw that pass again. <laughs> I think they said something in the blog about the line, how you can like protect. I'm like, it almost sounds like what we already have now, but somebody just sounds a little bit different. So, but we'll see. Uh, we we'll see what new features coming to Madden in terms of like gameplay wise. Whenever, whenever they decide to start releasing news, I mean, it should start anytime soon, right? We're already in June, so f football for Madden wise is like two months away, August. So I'm gonna have to start releasing something. It's a NCAA is probably less than a month away now, or just over a month away. So right now I'm just doing a quick passing. I got on the center because it's one of the quick pass. 
to my tight end here because he keeps sending the blitz against me. And I don't have time to throw the ball upfield, so I got to kind of just manage here. I think I'm running the ball here, I think. Yeah, I'm running the ball. Because it's playing this man all day. I'm trying to do the reverse here. Which I got her on the outside, so good blocking. Should have ran it more, but just need to get a first down. Like it wasn't a hard game to play, just some teams, you know, they just, they, they create a problem for you. What I've noticed a lot of people use the Eagles, they put number seven on the line of scrimmage to rush, and he does a really good job rushing, but this guy had him playing as a linebacker. I don't think he was utilizing him to his best of his abilities. To start in the middle of the field, you should have put him as a rusher. Most times when I play against the Eagles, they put him as a rusher on the line. He's more of a headache than Fletcher Cox on the line of scrimmage rushing me. But for some reason, he's right there, he's on the line on, on the left side, on the right side, I mean. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a field goal here after that sack. Let's take my field goal right here, because I get the ball at half anyway, so if I can score after half, I can make it a two-possession game. Yeah, I think this is generally the month we start getting some type of news from Madden, I think. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's almost like the NCAA folks. I, I'm glad that they're getting the game finally. But it's like every single thing they do over there, they compare it to what Madden's doing. I'm like, why don't you just be happy with what you got? <laughs> like, leave Madden alone already. So, you know, like I said before in the other videos, it's it's the same company, so like you don't think there's gonna be ideas from both sides rubbing off. Like the squiggly lines that we have in Madden came from NCAA. That's where it started from, so I mean They're gonna steal ideas, figure how they incorporate it to the NFL game and switch back and forth, you know what I mean? There's gonna be things that come out of Madden. It's gonna be NCAA. Like Madden is still the rigid the originator. It's, it's always been for the longest time. It's just college football. It's college football. So it is what it is. I'm just wondering, like the frustration of it, though, over time, because with the disparity of the teams, it's always my issue with a game like that. 134 teams. Um, can you make those? You can't make those teams even across the board, you know. So you got Penn State, that's already a tough team, and they got good home field advantage. You ain't playing at home in this crazy stadium. Playing coming there with a small team, a small school. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just gonna be watching and see how everything plays out. So I'm happy it's coming out because at least it gives us something to watch, especially on YouTube when it comes to video football games. Um, to watch, you know before Madden gets in touch with this information. So, it's, it's exciting times. It's like basically f video game football starts in, all, in July now again, like it used to be. It is, you know, I died over here for Madden to, to release in August and not get any news, so. We get to watch people uh, play NCAA and see what the good and the bad is. This freaking out route, man, he keeps running. So freaking annoying. I said it correctly there, he just jumps over my guy and picks and catches the ball. Insane. And earlier the first touchdown, it's like I'm playing quarters and both of my my cornerback and my safety chase the streak and then the, the guy running towards the sidelines wide open. Yeah, there's some things that I saw in NCAA in terms of uh uh, psychic uh, cornerbacks. It was in that highlight clip with the Michigan game, the interception they had in that game, in that uh, in that trailer. The safety was playing correctly, like the back, the the way he was backpedaling, and then he came forward when the ball pass was thrown. I was like, why don't you just let the corner do the same thing? 
because they're just playing zone, so he could just backpedal and then watch the quarterback shoot his his hand to throw the ball and then charge you know charge the guy is you know in his zone area instead of like turning around and then turn around and pick it off you know it's just those animations man so he's playing a slot man to man and I just put him on a short drag I don't think he expected that route so it kind of threw him off because I've been running comebacks on it all day so he was waiting for the comeback I just caught it underneath him throw a pass and he dove and missed and scored a touchdown so he goes to get trips again, the streak, the post to the sidelines, and the in round un underneath. And my guys just cannot keep it here. I'm trying to play zone and cover the streak, and then hopefully the zone could take the place the underneath guy. That's the only guy that gets open here. And it's kind of hard to cover all three guys because the safety on top doesn't get over. So that's basically what he just ran here all the way upfield. I think like three or four plays was able to score. So I play man here, and you know the slot uh, receiver. He just beats man to man. He just beats him on the deep corner route. So that you know, it's just one of the reasons why I don't play man defense. And I try to play zone, but then the zones don't work the way they're supposed to sometimes. So it just gets frustrating. And here on offense, our defense is just placing the hell out of me. Except for this play right here, he calls a cover three. Luckily, he knocks it down to so pick it off. Thought he was blitzing me again. So I think he's back to man again. Let's see if he blitz right here. Uh, he's playing zone again, but I, you know, I got plays for zones. This is just you know, complete couple of first downs, and this game is a wrap, really. Because I don't think he can stop me all on defense. He hasn't really stopped me all day. I'm just burning time and convert the board here on third down, and it's a wrap. So I'm flipping here because I'm gonna call two. Cause I know he's playing man, I can see it now with that guy following me over. So it's really a comeback and I'll and uh I'll come back to the sideline, so I gotta pick one. Depends on who gets covered. So it's a tough cover here, especially if you're playing man defense. So just block my tight end, block my running back, and wait for choose from one of those two guys. See so he covers the slot with the user and get the out route with the other guy, and that's it man. It's a wrap. Going to the next game, and the next one was more frustrations more than anything. It's just uh, miscues, execution, drop passes. You know the usual with the Bears. Just extends the game and makes the game like you know longer than it's supposed to be. So uh, he starts off. He's uh, in nickel over G defense. Next time I see people do this with their, they gotta fix that too, man. This freaking R1, R1, R1. I don't know. I think it's like a cheat because the defense can't. There's no uh, counter for the defense. Just outrun the defense, and you can't do anything about it. Every time I play somebody that's that doing that, I just automatically just think they're a cheeser, or I expect something weird to happen the way they play. <laughs> But uh, besides doing that, he was he was straight up. He played straight up. I think he's just making wrong reads here. And this should have picked it off, man. Fourth down at 14. So I think he's yeah, gonna go for it. I should have blitz here, but just in coverage and overthrow. I should be used to that. Fields does that to me all the time. All right, turn over on downs. Man, I messed up. I took the wrong gap. Should have went left. My lineman just flattened that safety. I mean, his defense is pretty good. I don't know what he was. He was playing pretty good defense. Like his guys he kept sending this uh, cover three blitz on me. You see it later. Like the first quarter, second quarter was horrible on offense for me. There you go. See that again? 
See the sidelines, two guys chasing one guy upfield, and he gets to switch on that. Like, those all routes, man. They annoy the hell out of me. It goes the game with the run in. They gotta get, they gotta get that out of the game, like for real. It's so freaking cheesy. All right, he's in the end zone. All right. Coverage here, cover three. First down. This is straight up man defense here. Yep. I shouldn't have taken off. I should have waited, and there's a comeback that was on the left, which was wide open. I would have got 15 yards on that if I just stayed in the pocket and threw it. Nobody really open here. Look, they read like a stunt on the left of the line. That's crazy. How did they do they did it on purpose? But that was nice. That's how it got to me. The outside guy came into the inside. They felt like they ran a stunt. This is a cover, cover four, I believe. Yeah. Oh man, defense with a blitz. That's the first time he sends that blitz. Cover three blitz up to SS blitz. I'm telling about just bad read on offense on my part. Cause I just got done playing the Eagles guy, and then I go into this game, and he's running a zone blitz, and I'm just thinking man blitz. Cause I just the other the other guy was just man blitzing me all game, so I'm thinking man blitz, but he's in zone blitz. So you know, it's a good change of pace for him. And he threw me off. It took me a minute to get my bearings together. Literally, it took me like two quarters, actually. I think I get the ball again, and you see what happens. Let's see, what is he running here? Trips again. Probably something to the sidelines again, probably. Oh, I thought I had that. This year, gotta worry about the RPO. That's a bad thing. So it's, you know, yeah, worry about the, the pass. With the trips in the, in the red zone, you just gotta worry about the RPO. It won't be such a bad. This formation is really good in this year's Madden because the way the line plays, everybody gets held up, so you can do the inside zone run. You know what I mean? It just makes it easy to run that play in the red zone. If the line shed better, should I should have missed the middle guy. The middle guy, the receiver's wide open. People will run that play so much, but inside zone just is deadly. That's the SS blitz. There it goes again. But I got rid of the ball this time. And I think he's doing show blitz. So I can't really tell if they're coming or not from the outside. So it's hard to read, especially when he shows blitz. So I'm gonna run away from this guy. I think it's playing man, which he is. So get the f ah. Because it's drop passes, man. I was, I mean, that was a crucial down, you know what I mean? I would got a first down. Ah, man. There goes the blitz again. <laughs> that was like the worst, man. I was playing like a like I, it was playing like a straight rookie, man. Horrible. Goes again. Just hit me again. Turnover. Ah, oh, lucky. Hey, he was, like he was sending this right here is a mistake on my part. Should have sent him on a streak. Ah, 
because he had him he had his corner right here playing uh 15 yard or 20 yard cloud if i send that guy on the street i'd have a touchdown because the safety was playing the slot but i had him on the comeback so he just sat right into that zone so i had that in the back of my mind going forward that if he did it again i was just gonna hit him with a streak and score a touchdown but let's see if i get a chance this game you know good defense so i think this is where i started like you know getting everything back together again i got on the center and settled down on offense because i need a score right here it's gonna this thing's gonna get out of hand that was a blitz again so at this time I think I got a raise one here. I kind of stalled out a little bit. Fields on first down. Flush to his right. And he just throws this one. As receivers a little extra time. The connection. Good play, man. So you set him up here. The defense he's saying correct play call for this quarters. And uh, Justin. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, right play call, so like, you know, it was, uh, it was freaking SS freaking blitz again. Let's take the field goal this time, down a possession. I just gotta come up big on defense now. So I don't know why he decided to go conservative, because he was playing pretty well with his trips and everything that first half. And then he decides to go like with these condensed run formation sets. And let's see what how let's see what happens. I don't know if he was trying to run the clock or what, but I didn't think it was smart because whatever he was doing before an offense was working, he he has 14 points off of it. Why he decided to switch to this, I have no idea. But I'm you know whatever he's doing, I'm covering it. So got a penalty here, crossing the line of scrimmage. We're gonna take that pet take that from second and 15. Still in it again. Like whatever you're trying to run, it's not working on this. This is covered. And you sack him. That's third and twenty-one. This is the all streaks play, all verts. Just got the middle guy open, so I know that now. So when he audibles to it again, I'm just gonna audible the man. So we've seen it again. Run play. Kind of stuff it. Second down, they just audible to it again. So I just audible the man. I think just throw a quick pass. I don't think so. Third and eight. Just audible to it again. I just audible back to man. I got the middle guy covered. So just to go to the wheel routes. Complete pass. Fourth down and eight. Alright, I'm sending the blitz. Overthrown. Fourth down. Turn downs. So that was big. That was a big break. This is quarters, I believe. Which it is. So, triangle's wide open. Looking for the in routes quarters again. In routes open. Go call no huddle. And I'm gonna put the slot receiver in the deep in route. And I'm gonna drag my tight end. Generally they drag that tight end, everybody kinda looks good. Everybody looks for it, especially the user in the middle. He's gonna look for that tight end. But then the back of him is wide open. You see the user right here is gonna shoot underneath to cover it, but then you know, I got the deep guy open. I gotta go for two here. Because he's bumping me here, 
the switch route really helps me really well because Triangle is just going to bump that defender off of Moore and then Moore is just going to come underneath for that pass. It's like a rough play. See how defenders run into each other? <laughs> kind of just pushes them off. All right, see, he's still back in his formation again. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, I don't know. But good thing I tackled him there because he's gonna start doing that left R1, R1 crap again. All right, stop him again this time. I got this corner right here, number 33, playing flat in case he runs over there. And if I got outside third and the guy on the right side, I think he does the out route right here really quick. Yep, he does the out route. Which is fine. I just don't want to get beat over the top. So I got him outside third and then the left I got yeah, I got the yeah, I got a flat in case he runs. So he's out there to help. Alright, that's fine. We can leave with that for right now. Like I said, I don't know why he decided to play like this. He wasn't playing like this in the first quarter. He just switched up on me and started doing this crap right here. So And I know what play it is and you know, it's covered, so you just keep eating sacks. Yeah, he got stuck in his ways, man. See? I, I, I have no idea why he switched up his offense. So he kind of put himself in a bind now. It's third and 32. Or fourth and 32. Now you know I'm blitzing. I'm, <laughs> I'm not letting you take time to throw the ball on field. I, mm -mm. I'm standing in the old house. You have to make like a reckless catch up here to get a first down. That's really the ball game, really. It's just about wasting time. You got three timeouts. Got to make him burn the timeouts. And go from there, man. So I, I think he he got down because of the way he called that sec, that third quarter, when he got the ball in the third quarter, the way he was calling his plays. I don't, he just seemed like he went conservative. I don't know why, like super conservative. And he wasn't doing that in the you know, first half. So, yeah, I think that's kind of really... The defense was, was really good because it was throwing me off. But his offense, I don't know why he decided to go conservative. That's really the difference in the game. It's just his play calling. That second half was kind of horrible on offense. Alright, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me one time. Bang! Till next time, fellas. I'll holler at you dudes later. I right, won.